Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Banco Boxing. And today, I'll be giving my quick review and reaction of this Andre Ward unguarded interview with Terrence Crawford. What's going on, Fight World? It's your boy Banco Boxing. And I'm back for some Banco Boxing talk. Quick reminder, man, if you want to be part of the Banco Boxing gang uh, and you want to hear my boxing news and boxing takes, hit that subscribe button for me. But anyways, man, I was at the gym and I was listening to the unguarded interview with Andre Ward and Terrence Crawford. I'll make sure to place that link in the description. A uh, very good interview. I always like when old boxers talk to the younger fighters. I mean, Andre Ward's not super old, but you know, he's I think Andre Ward might be 40. But it touched on a lot of good things, man. Uh in the beginning, you get to see a little bit of a uh, Terrence Crawford's personality there. They're playing ping pong. And Terrence Crawford's basically saying, you know, whoever loses has to do like 50 push-ups straight. <laughs> of course, he beat uh, Dre. And uh, Dre was cheating on the push-ups. But anyways, man, they got into a lot of a lot of uh, different things. First and foremost, Terrence Crawford uh, was talking about, you know, debunking the myth about like, uh, well, first of all, Dre set him up to answer the question about all the PBC fighters over there, right? And how a lot of them um, make a lot of excuses, this and that, or whatever, you know. And like Bud said, hey, first, you know, I moved up, I got a belt, and now they don't want to fight me. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, when you don't acknowledge me, that's what really makes me want to knock your head off. And he's being very vocal about, you know, the fight. Like, he wants the fights to happen, and he's been said that Bud's stance has never changed. He's never been one to say, hey, I want to go the easy route. Bud also brought up, he didn't say him by name, but I know for a fact he was talking about the LDBC. And I'm not trying to name drop, but those are the people that mostly, and not everybody in the LB, LDBC, it's some people that's not like that. But mostly, a lot of people in the LDBC made their own narratives about um, Bud don't want to fight Spence or Bud signed with the wrong people. That's the reason why um, he not fighting Spence, this and that. And I, I, my counter argument for all that was, Spence been with Al Heyman for years and just fought Sean Porter this year. Ain't even fought Keith Thurman. Ain't even fought Danny Garcia. So he's just like Bud. Ain't no ain't no such thing as the you know right side of the street. You know how was Wilder and Fury fighting? If Fury's on the wrong side of the street, technically they should never fight. But yeah, he talked about them. He said about the narratives and how you know he don't really like. He'll talk to media, but he don't really like to because they like to twist up what he say. And I can I can agree with that. Media can twist up what you got to say. I mean, I would disagree. I still think he needs to be on, on those fighters' necks some more. Like Bud basically said, shout out to CJ Goodfellow, said what CJ be saying, hey, you got to get disrespectful. Like, you got to you gotta just get on Spence's neck and make them boys, everybody in Dallas, ask them, hey, man, you scared of Bud? Like, when your manhood challenge, you know what I'm saying, whether you think you're going to win or not, you're going to be like, hey, hey, I'll make the fight. I don't care what it takes, make the fight. Even if it's advisors against them, make the fight. And that fight will get made. Bud touched on how upset he was that PBC don't even mention him as a champion. Uh, I forgot what telecast it was, but they didn't even have a WBO champion up there in Bud. And, you know, he tweeted about that. He was like, wow, that's crazy. They won't even mention my name. He said somebody coaching them not to mention his name. And it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Certain people will. Uh... I think they mentioned it, but they beat around. And none of them has really said they really want to fight him, not the fighters per se. Yeah, Bob Aram and Kenny Porter say they want to fight Bud, but that didn't really come out of Sean Porter's mouth. Um, They talked about how it's uh, the issue with, you know, media actually trying to market black fighters. They don't know how to market black fighters. And the only way they really will market you is if you act like Floyd or Adrian Broner. He didn't say Adrian Broner, but... If we take Florida out of the equation, the only person that mimics or takes it to a next extreme is Adrian Broner. But I've also came to the conclusion that Adrian Broner is actually being himself uh, when he's when it's fight time. He just he marketing in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Outside of that, you see a lot of love he get from fans. But this ain't about Adrian Broner. It's about Bud. Um, they brought up Bud, you know, helping people in the community, being a great father. He talked about how his dad left out of his life when he was one. And... Um, he used to do something to him when his dad came in town and then he'd leave because he had bad temper. And he said, you know, he basically made that, you know, vow to, like, be in his kid's life. And, and that's what's up, you know, because uh, some guys, 
it's funny, like, they didn't have their father or this or that. And then when it comes time for them, they do the same thing that their father did instead of doing the opposite. Because, you know, he said he would get jealousy in his friends, fathers and stuff at their fights or games or stuff like that. You know, and, and kind of get upset, man. And that sucks for kids, man. Kids should never have to go through that. But, you know, you only can control what you can control. But, um, really thought-provoking by Bud. I also add in Bud just... He don't even really got to say nothing. He can get somebody that just posts on his account, like memes or something about Spence or tweet stuff about Spence. It ain't really got to be stuff he say, but it just just start tagging them and adding them. You know, he got Spence number. You saw how Bud, I'm going to actually find the other interview when Bud was in Spence's face. And so y'all can see the birth of Easy Route, Promer- uh, Easy Route Promotions on Spence. When he said, I want to go to Easy Route, y'all can see all that. Oh, my fault. I get ahead of myself. Bud was also talking about numbers and how they talk about this or that, or he fighting bums, but he's like, but they don't tell you that, you know, Jeff Horn was undefeated and had just beat Manny Pacquiao. They don't tell you that Benavidez was undefeated. He said, look, I ain't like I'm trying to fight little guys. Small. I'm, talk- I'm fighting big, tall, all type of guys. You know what I'm saying? He said, they talk about Ingus being a bum, but the dude's, you know, undefeated and he's a medalist. He's in the Olympics. He said, so how can he be a bum? He voiced this disdain about, you know, the American marketing for the pay-per-view. He said, you know, which was mismanaged and done wrong. And he said, hey, I don't I don't want to call Bob. I want to have a meeting with him and let him know I don't appreciate how this marketing is going. But much respect to Bud, man. I probably missed some stuff because this is literally, I'm outside the gym. And this is just, you know, ain't like I was writing notes while doing it. But that's kind of what I took away from this, man. So, hey, uh, y'all know Bud's fighting the mean machine. This Saturday, and I think uh, Comey and Tiafimo Lopez at the co-main event. I'm going to try to get a fight prediction in for that. But if not, I'm going to let you know right here in this video that, hey, I'm picking Terrence Bud Crawford by stoppage. I ain't watched enough of Mean Machine, but I already know what Bud do. Bud a different monster. And he, he's a killer in the ring. He's a nice guy. He's a, he's a, he's a silent killer. That's what he is. He's ghost. <laughs> Bud St. Patrick, that's what y'all should call it, man, Bud St. Patrick, but hey, man, just a little power reference, but I'm about to get ready to start my day after this gym, but hey, if you made it to the end of this video, man, I appreciate you for checking out the whole video, uh, make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon to see when I'm going to upload new content, uh, make sure you share it on your social media, hate, comment, like, subscribe, Banco Boxing out, Banco.